Greetings. This is a user review of the Synology NAS DS1010 Plus by Headers. This is a 5 bay NAS solution brought to you by Synology. It runs SATA hard drives and as we can see peering into it here we can see the back plane that your SATA hard drives will connect to. Those connectors are providing your SATA power and data. There's two 80mm fans at the back that will provide additional cooling when necessary. And on the left hand side here we can see that there is a back plane which is the main board with memory. There's an, an active heat sink or active fan I should say to cool the processor and there's also a passive heat sink further back for the north south bridge chip combination. The processor in this NAS is uh, pretty powerful. It's a dual core Intel uh, 1.67 processor so that's actually a very high end processor for a NAS solution. Um, it's also got a uh, user expandable memory slot so if we spin this NAS around we can see that there's a memory module completely exposed to us rather than buried away deep inside the bowels of the electronics here so we'll never need to go into that. We've just got everything accessible here and that's a 200 pin SO DIMM slot so that's uh, very easy to find those kind of pieces of memory and obviously we can put a 2 gig DIMM in that and bring the whole unit to 3 gigabytes. So by default out of the box it comes with 1 gigabyte of memory which is more than enough but if necessary you can put more in there. If we then have a look here we can see the power supply which is well clipped and screwed into the case. Everything is nicely uh, tucked away. Everything is cable tied, zip tied and uh, it's very well constructed. It's good solid metal. It's not cheap flimsy tin which is nice. We can look around the back here. We can see the two 80mm fans. Uh, we can also see that there's a eSATA connector just down here on the left. Then there's a uh, VGA port for your console just here. There's four USB ports and there's two Ethernet ports. Those are both gigabit Ethernet ports as well which is nice. Um, and because of that gigabit Ethernet and the powerful processor and the amount of memory available this NAS has very very good write speeds. So with the right drives in it you'll get excellent performance out of this NAS. So you can basically use it like an attached disk to your computer without any problems. Um, as we can see there's some status LEDs here. There's a status LED, a LAN 1, a LAN 2, an alert LED and up under here there's actually the LEDs that transmit the light through to our drive cage. Drive cage has a translucent piece of plastic here that will transmit that light to the front triangle which will be quite nice when it's running. The drive is a hot swappable cage so there's a little pop connector there to pull the drive out with. There's hardened plastic and it is a uh, quite sturdy plastic so it's not really cheap. It's a uh, quite nice feeling and as we can see there's five hard drives that I'm going to place inside the NAS. There's a 2TB 1.5 1.5 greens, there's a 2TB black and a 1.5 Seagate. Now the reason um, I'm going to be using greens is because they've been kicking around and even though there are questions about whether the green drives will function correctly with the NAS, I'm going to uh, throw the dice shall we say and uh, try my luck. If I have problems by running a RAID 5 or even a RAID 6 solution I can handle drive failures and then I can also consider replacing those discs as I need to. So this again this is the Synology DS1010 Plus. This uh, is a 5 bay SATA NAS solution with a 1.67 dual core processor. It has user expandable memory and it has nice hot swappable drive bays. It has also got the ability with that eSATA port at the back to run the DX510 which is another 5 bay NAS solution. Basically the same sort of box but without as much logic in it. Uh, printed circuit boards I mean and uh, basically you can then run up to 10 SATA drives chained together with that eSATA port. So even though this is a relatively expensive NAS for home use and small office use it is well worth it. It's got plenty of expandability, um, it's a nicely put together package and uh, I'll come back to us when uh, we've uh, got it up and running and see how the installation goes. Okay that's it for now. Thanks. Bye.